What if the food you eat today and your current waistline could shape how your brain ages? It makes intuitive sense, right? Well, now there's hard data to support this with a new fascinating study that I would like to review with you. I was so fascinated by it that I, I just couldn't wait to share it with you. So this is a new longitudinal study that was published in March of 2025 in the prominent medical journal JAMA, and it followed over 600 adults for two decades and found something remarkable. The quality of your diet and how much abdominal fat you have in midlife AKA your mid forties, fifties, and early sixties predicts how well your brain will function later on in life. In this video, I'm going to go over some key findings from the study, and then we're going to talk about what we can take away and apply to our own lives to improve and maintain the health of our brain as we age. Before I go over the results with you, let's go over some of the study's methods. So the study comes from a large cohort of people in the UK. The participants were followed from their late 40s to about age 70. And the researchers regularly tracked participants' diet quality through something called the Alternative Healthy Eating Index, or AHEI. And they also measured waist-to-hip ratio over the course of a couple of decades. Now the waist-to-hip ratio is a good marker for the amount of abdominal fat someone has. The researchers began studying the participants when they were in their 40s and then tested the waist-to-hip ratio and diet at intervals over the course of a couple of decades as these participants aged. As the participants approached age 70, they performed brain MRIs to measure white matter structure, which is basically the brain's wiring, functional connectivity of the hippocampus, now the hippocampus plays a key role in memory formation and is also largely implicated in Alzheimer's disease. As the participants approached age 70, the researchers also performed cognitive tests that measured working memory, fluency, and executive function. So executive function is a memory domain that involves decision-making, social behaviors, and impulse control. The frontal lobe is largely implicated in executive function. So what were the results? When it comes to diet, the study found that better midlife diet quality was linked to stronger functional connections between the hippocampus and areas like the occipital lobe and cerebellum. They also found that improving diet over time was linked to healthier white matter integrity, the key findings from measuring the participants' abdominal fat through their waist to hip ratio found that higher waist to hip ratio in midlife, in other words, more abdominal fat, was associated with worse brain white matter structure, suggesting damage and degradation in the white matter. The researchers also found that higher abdominal fat in midlife was linked to lower cognitive scores, especially in working memory, executive function, and verbal fluency. Further statistical testing showed that part of the effect of abdominal fat on cognition was directly due to changes in white matter. In other words, Part of the reason why people with more abdominal fat in midlife performed worst on cognitive tests later in life was because their brain's white matter, that wiring that helps different regions communicate with each other, had become weaker and more damaged. Now, can we actually say that diet and abdominal fat cause these brain changes based on this study? Before we jump to conclusions, it's important to remember that this was not a randomized trial. So this was a correlational study, and with most correlational studies, we cannot infer causality. However, the study was still much stronger than most observational and correlational studies. Why? Because it followed people longitudinally over a long time, 20 some years. It also used causal and statistical models to explore how abdominal fat affects brain structure, and then how brain structure affects cognition. So while it doesn't prove causation, it strongly suggests a pathway. Better diet and lower abdominal fat lead to better brain structure, which leads to better memory later in life. And that brings us to the key takeaways. Number one, midlife may be the key window for protecting your brain. It's not too late. It may actually be the perfect time to optimize your brain health. And number two, improving your diet and minimizing abdominal fat may reduce your dementia risk. So what exactly does a brain healthy diet actually look like? The researchers used a scoring system called the Alternative 
healthy eating index in order to measure diet quality. It's not a specific diet plan, it's a scoring system based on how closely your eating habits align with known health promoting foods. Diets that score high on the AHEI include more vegetables, more fruits, healthy fats like nuts, olive oil, and omega-3 rich fish, less processed meat, less sugary drinks, less refined carbs. In other words, it aligns closely with diets like the Mediterranean diet, the DASH diet, or the MIND diet, all of which have been shown in studies to support brain health and lower dementia risk. The Mediterranean diet focuses on fruits, vegetables, olive oil, fish, and whole grains. The DASH diet, which was originally created to lower blood pressure in patients with hypertension, promotes eating foods that are low in sodium, high in fiber, and lean proteins. The MIND diet is a hybrid of these two, which is specifically designed to protect brain health. These diets all center around whole foods, eating healthy fats, and less processed sugar. So if you're wondering where you can start, just consider making small dietary changes. Swap out refined or simple grains like white bread, white rice, regular pasta. Swap them out for whole grains like brown rice, quinoa, whole wheat bread. These options have more fiber, vitamins, and have a gentler impact on your blood sugar. They're also better for your gut health. And there's emerging evidence, emerging data that you, you, the health of your gut is correlated with the health of your brain. You can also increase the amount of leafy greens and colorful vegetables that you eat daily. Eating foods with healthy fats like fatty fish, avocados, uh, nuts, olive oil, using avocado oil to cook. These all contain healthy fats, which are really good for your brain because your brain uh, is primarily made of fat. And then another action you can take is to decrease intake of sugary drinks and processed snacks. Over time, incorporating these changes can help preserve your brain function and your brain structure as you age. So circling back around to the study and the dietary factors in the, the study, the study didn't really focus on one diet in particular. It just showed that people who incorporated healthier foods uh, had better brain health as they aged. It shows that what we eat, especially in midlife, really matters for the future of our brain. So this brings us back to the big picture. If you're in your 40s, 50s, or 60s, this might actually be the perfect time to invest in your future brain health. Your habits now can shape how well you think, remember, and thrive in the decades to come. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more evidence-based insights on brain health. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.